So I want to quickly talk about our Mars missions. We have uh, quite a rich set of uh, international missions now at Mars, which includes the um, Indian Space Research Organization's MOM mission. It's, it's at Mars doing quite well. Uh, and we have our orbiters and ESA's uh, Mars Express opportunity and curiosity are on the ground working. Uh, InSight and um, Trace Gas Orbiter will be our two big launches um, uh, this year. ESA's launch, of course, is Trace Gas Orbiter, and we have uh, uh, a, uh, a communication package on that that allows to communicate with the ground assets. And InSight is, uh, uh, has its geophysical package looking at seismic and heat flow measurements uh, on the surface based on Phoenix, uh, Phoenix uh, platform. ESA is continuing to develop its rover, uh, the ExoMars rover for 2018 that we're a part of, and then of course our, our Mars 2020 rover. Uh, Curiosity, as I mentioned, is at Mount Sharp and going to be moving forward. And of course, it's uh, really a great location to look at the stratigraphy and really peel back the history of Mars in this particular area. Uh, the Mars 2020 rover, we've selected the instruments, announced them last year. You know, uh, Curiosity was a great structure for us to use, you know, just like uh, the shuttle was, was designed to carry stuff into space and we continue to reuse it. The concept of the sky crane and the entry, descent, and landing capability, the rover and its capability were always available to us after Curiosity's proved how successful that was in allowing us to get one ton down to the surface. Here's our new instruments and the accommodations have been, uh, uh, the accommodation studies are near completion. So it's a, it's a great program for this decade.